Now, in order to print this, I will print to the black and white printer. There is no reason I would print to the color printer unless everything's out of toner and doesn't work. Uh, if the black and white printer's out of toner, then I have to do a plan B. But um, there's a recording on YouTube in the Rebecca Bilbrey channel that talks about how to load uh, printer drivers. I already did this before class started. So I already loaded just the black and white HP LaserJet 8150 printer driver. If you don't know how to load those printer drivers, I gave you guys a handout on that. Plus, I have a YouTube video on how to do it. So I have the printer driver loaded, which means that it should print just fine and it won't cost me any money either. Now when I go to print this, I do want all pages laid out, but just for the sake of demonstration, I will just print um, a few pages here. Now I don't have to do the print booklet feature. That is a video on YouTube that I have for you, but this is different. I don't have this on YouTube. You just simply, to print thumbnails in spreads, you would go to File and Print. This isn't File Print Booklet. You choose your black and white printer, which is the uh, 8150. Click on, in the pages area, click on spreads. That's the key right there. You don't want to sketch in individual pages. Again, can I see your eyeballs looking at me for just a second? Because I know you guys are doing different things. Do not sketch in individual pages when you're doing books. Sketch in spreads. Okay? The only individual pages you might sketch are the covers. I even, I even sketch those with front and back cover together. Just because I want to see how they're working together. So do not sketch in individual pages. You have to click on spreads, spreads, when you're printing, okay? Now, I don't really, um, I don't care that this is, this won't need crop marks or anything like that. You might want to print blank pages, have that turned on because cover, you might not have anything on there right now, and you want that coming out. So make sure print blank pages is on. And if you want to print your grids, which you do for sketches, turn on print non-printing objects and turn on print visible guides and baseline grids. Okay, so make sure all of those are turned on for thumbnail sketches. Then that's in the general area. In setup, you want your page, or excuse me, you want to cl click on in the options area, you want to click thumbnails on. I don't know how big you want to sketch, but uh, two by two is probably small enough because you're doing two pages you know, next to each other in spreads. So this is four spreads. You might want to see if portrait works better than landscape. Really, it probably won't matter. You don't worry about marks and bleeds or anything like that. I can just simply hit print, and this will come out of the black and white printer, assuming it's okay. Let me click on this printer. The printer's in the dock, and it's telling me that this parent printer may be out of toner, it says the paper tray is almost empty and it is spooling the job. This doesn't mean it won't print. This just means I have to go down there and I have to load paper in there because it's almost empty. And I need to put in a, a ticket, a work ticket for them to, uh, they, they won't change toner until it's completely out, unfortunately. So when that's completely out, I'll have to make sure they put toner in there. But even though that this has a, war this has a warning, this doesn't mean it's not printing. And when I was here on Friday working this stuff out, it was giving me this warning as well. So it takes a while to spool it, and it doesn't seem like it should take very long because it's just type. You don't see a lot of pictures in here. It's just type. But it still takes a while to spool it and print it. So we could sit here and watch this all day. I'm going to save this document because I haven't done it yet. Save as recipe book. Bad idea to sit there and work on it and not save it. Hey, in a month it's going to be 12, 12, 12. Just, just FYI. One of my friends wrote up on Facebook yesterday. It's a 11, 11, and 11, 11, 11. And then everybody started putting comments <laughs> out of there. Where, what you are you in? <laughs> Yeah, it's 11, was, 11, 11. Well, it's 11 o'clock on the 11th day of the 11th month, which is also Veterans Day. But she year. Yeah, but 11, but, yeah. Yeah, she was. Yeah. 11, 11, 11 is uh, the n numeric thing for uh, Veterans Day. So 11 o'clock, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. So maybe she got confused. But it is supposed to be 11, 11, 11, but not the, the 11th year. 
Okay, if I go down the printer, this will actually be ready. I'm going to stop this recording because nobody needs to hear me running down to the printer. Um,